Hello everyone, I'm Dan Julio, and this video demonstrates TCAM, a thermal imaging camera I designed that anyone can build. It's based around the G-Core and TCAM mini boards that are available from Group Gets. As you can see using the laser cut enclosure, TCAM mini's hardware interface connects to G-Core via a small header. That's the only soldering required. It can also be housed in a 3D printed case. Assembly instructions, the enclosure designs, and TCAM firmware are all available at the links in the description below. The main screen displays a live image and basic camera controls. TCAM can record single images or videos to a micro SD card. You select between images or videos with this switch. The G-Core power button is used as a shutter control and the camera turned off with this GUI button. The spot meter displays the temperature at locations in the image that may be selected by touch. There are several color palettes that are useful for different types of images and can be selected by tapping the top or bottom of the palette bar. You can browse images or go to the camera settings with these buttons. Let's go to the camera settings. Camera settings are split into two sections. Camera operational controls on the main settings screen and camera setup on subscreens accessible via these buttons. You can control the recording interval for videos, camera gain, emissivity and other things directly. There's also a handy emissivity lookup table listing many common items. Wi-Fi setup is easy. You can configure the camera for AP or client mode and enter the SSID and password using the on-screen keyboard. You can also scan for available networks and use those to populate the SSID field. The storage screen lets you manage and view images stored on the microSD card. TCAM stores images and videos in folders created by the day the image was taken. You can format the card. <laughs> we won't do that. Delete individual images. or entire folders. You can also browse images. The browse screen starts with the camera's current palette, but that can be changed. You can delete images or move between them using on-screen controls. Videos can be played too. The manual range button may be used to span lock the temperature range so the palette's false color mapping in videos doesn't constantly change during playback. Like TCAM Mini, TCAM has a command interface available via Wi-Fi that allows it to work with custom software or apps like this one running on an iPhone. Images can be saved and the camera remotely controlled. Here we enable automatic gain control. Note the word AGC at the bottom of the color palette bar on both the camera and phone. Saved images can be played back and exported to the Photos album or other apps running on the phone. The desktop app runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. TCAM uses MDNS to advertise its IP address. 
allowing the app to display all the cameras on the network. Here we select the DCAM on my desk to connect to and get an image from. The app also allows full control over the camera. Video can be streamed and optionally recorded to a file. Files are identical to those on the camera's microSD card. A histogram displays the pixel density of the temperatures in the scene. One of the reasons I originally wanted a thermal imaging camera was to monitor the temperatures of circuits I designed. To support this, the desktop app includes up to four temperature markers in addition to the spot meter. These can be placed at any point in the image, for example on top of a chip. Then, the streamy data can be plotted on a live graph with a line for each marker and the spot meter. Of course, this capability applies to other situations where you might want to monitor the temperature of several points in an object over time. After the monitored system reaches steady state and you are done, then the graph is completed by stopping the stream. You can use the graph controls to zoom both temperature and timescale axes. Graph data can be saved with timestamps in either RAW or CSV format for later importation into a spreadsheet. In this graph, you can plainly see the left-hand sensor performing a flat field correction every three minutes, which unfortunately is something you need to be aware of as it takes a few seconds for the sensor to settle down afterwards. Individual temperature points can be displayed by mousing over the trace. The desktop app can remotely download images from TCAM's microSD card. It displays a list of folders and files and lets you easily pick a location to download to. Here we'll download to my desktop. You can select entire folders or files within a folder to download. Optionally you can delete the files after they are downloaded. Once downloaded, the images and videos can be displayed by simply dragging them onto the app. Finally, the app has a few other useful features. It can check to see if there are firmware updates for TCAM or new versions of the app itself and download them. TCAM firmware updates may be performed over the air with no other programming hardware necessary. A super useful feature for people who want to write their own software is a log window. It displays the transmitted and received JSON packets which are helpful to understand them. I spent a lot of time creating TCAM and its supporting software, and I hope it is useful for you as well. Thanks for watching.